How's she going, guys? I don't know if I should drive in here or not. There's gonna be kinda all kinds of fucking shit in here, probably. Now, he's got his big tooth bucket on, so he's not... He's not pushing really deep. He's just getting the trees and no no dirt. But we kind of did a rough estimate this morning. And we figure he pushed about just about five acres worth, worth of product. And yeah, he hooked some fucking rocks. But that's part of the game on my property. You're going to hook rocks no matter what you do. But, like, holy cow. This is uh, freaking awesome. Watch me get stuck in here. So, he's out here now. I came out with the tractor. He came out. Drew came out with his uh, cat. We're going to leave the trees on the far side. The windows are frosty still. And uh, Drew is uh, heading over this way. So this bluff of trees right here to my left, it's going to get left alone. And then the couple bluffs of trees around the hunting shack, this little bluff right here, that one, and then to the right or the east of the hunting shack, that's all getting left alone. But basically... You go around the trees and then it cuts back at a bit of an angle. He's back in there now and that's where he's gonna start and he's gonna work north off of there. So, you figure, sweet, right? Now I'll bring you guys back out here with me a little bit later on, simply um, simply because I got to feed the cows out there yet. And my tractor's got a quarter of a tank of fuel. The light is on. But, yeah, we got to feed the cows out there. I did not do that yet. So, uh, but this is going to open up and give us more grazing. Getting rid of them trees. Lots of guys are commenting on Facebook, Instagram. What the hell are you doing? And I don't want to call myself a tree hugger because I do, I like the bush. I like having it around. Uh, not just for the cattle, but for the wildlife. Uh, but at the same token, where it's heavy bush, grass don't grow in there. And our livelihood here relies us to have grass for our livestock. So grass will grow in that bush that he's pushed now grass will grow in there but grass does not grow worth a dam in heavy bush areas so that opens it up and now we can uh, get in there and get some extra grazing so on and so forth every acre counts right definitely going to change the looks of our landscape for us anyway let's get back home and uh do some cow feeding talk to you guys later all righty guys so there i got like a bucket load maybe two bucket loads bucket load and a half of cut feed left so for anybody that's new, what the hell am I doing? Well, we're 
I always like to set out our bales for all the different feed sources that we got going on. So we've got this pure alfalfa here. And you can see the black side of these all these bales. And that goes all the way back, including this these two rows right here that are kind of frosted. So all of those bales are almost pure alfalfa, but they had a fair amount of volunteer clover in it when we cut and baled. Next to that, them four rows right there is grass. It's uh, pretty much solid grass, like 95% grass, 5% alfalfa. Next to that is a 50-50, so, so to speak. This is alfalfa saffoin, which kind of looks like alfalfa, but it has a pink flower. It's a non-bloat. Saffoin is like a non-bloat uh, alfalfa type plant. Um, smooth brome, meadow brome, and I can't remember the other grass that's in there. But it's like a 50-50 alfalfa grass mix on that one. And then, over here, we have uh, yellow oats and weeds, slough hay, all mixed together. That's what these bales are over here. We also have, right there, four or five bales of uh, two-year-old green feed. Beside that is six bales of year-old hay. And then here, these bales were rowed up from way back uh, before we tub ground the first time back in the fall of 23. And that's all older hay. Uh, or so to speak, older hay. It's two-year-old uh, green feed, two-year-old clover, two-year-old hay, three-year-old hay, and four-year-old hay. There's about 35 bales of that stuff. So it's all getting put in, but 90% of everything we grind this time around is going to be an alfalfa, to alfalfa grass mix type of feed. Planning on doing another uh, 150 bales or so. That's the plan anyways. Anywho, I gotta finish that row off with the clover, uh, alfalfa clover mix type stuff. So I think I'm going to push a little bit of this snow ridges because you kind of bounce over them and it's not very pleasant. So I'll let you guys go. We'll bring you back here in a little bit. Okay, guys. Well, we started on our third row just working at pulling all of these out. Anyways, I uh, got a phone call from Drew. Uh, sounds like he's got an oil line leak. So he asked for me to come and pick him up, get him out of the get them from the pasture so we're on a rescue mission bring you back when we get out there the windows are cleaner though right you can actually see something so we'll see what it looks like with cleaner windows talk to you later okay so give you a better view here if you guys remember in previous videos CP and I would drive through this area and this was all trees all through here well that's all gone there was a huge group of trees all through there. That's all gone. Well, it's not gone, gone, but. And now CP's trying to call me. I'll bring you back. And we're back. So he pushed all of that stuff last night and uh, got it pushed up into piles. And I don't know how much he got done out here, but uh, we'll find out. 
there's a little bit of a trail just on the other side of this bluff and well I told you guys earlier what we were gonna do so uh, it's like going on three o'clock in the afternoon so we'll see I don't know how much he got done or didn't get done or well he got a fair amount done that whole corner is cleaned right up over there sweet nice okay talk to y'all later all right guys sorry I didn't show you anything really out there um, uh, I don't know if Drew wants to be put in the video I didn't ask him he said I could video him when he's working but I went out to pick him up with the tractor and we checked out some of the work he's done so uh, but yeah he blew some main hydraulic line it's like inch and a quarter inch and a half line on the underside of the machine so uh, he's got a he's gonna run back out there with his truck and rip it apart and he's gonna have to run into the city to get parts and so on and so forth new fittings blah 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 so he said yeah he probably won't be back out here tomorrow today at all which is fine but anyways um, we're gonna go get some fuel put in this big bad boy and go back to moving bales later alrighty guys Drew got his uh, machine up and running uh, it was some um, the bolts came loose he didn't actually blow the drive hydraulic line I think it's like a power steering line he didn't blow the power steering line or the yeah the power steering line or a steering line uh, it just came apart the bolts backed out and it came out so he managed to get it put all back together and he's gonna give her a go and he had oil on board so yeah there he goes So he cut a line. He's heading for it right now. You can kind of make it out in the trees. Right there, that dark spot. And that goes north. And uh, he's just gonna work at pushing that bush back off of that cut line. I think is what he's gonna do. I don't know. This is all new to me. I've never been around a bush pushing episode, guys. And he's asking me, well, how do you want me to do it? I'll do whatever you want. And I said, I have no idea. I've never ever had to deal with this kind of stuff before. And I said, any kind of bush pushing you do is gonna be bonus for me because that's opening up the ground. so over here he pushed this whole corner out and got it all raked up and in piles they're not huge huge piles but kind of wind rose and out here last winter is where CP and I were coming a lot and we we're getting our firewood out of here so this really cleans that this whole area up now now I could just come in here and there's all kinds of friggin trees and stuff still on the ground that slip through the in between the like that right there well <coughs> They get they're too small they didn't quite grab in the teeth of his uh, rake bucket but that's nothing I could come in and I can chainsaw the roots off of that some bitch and firewood right branches are all peeled off of it lots of wood in them in them piles out there though
opens this whole area right up. I don't know, you got like another couple acres out here that we gain. With my luck, all of these goddamn suckering willows are just gonna friggin' explode in these areas though. That's probably what's gonna happen with my luck. So we'll have to be staying on top of them willows and uh, maybe get some graze on and spray them friggin' suckers out. Anywho, since I'm gonna be gone pretty much all day tomorrow, I gotta get out there and feed the cows up from tonight for tomorrow. So I'll talk to you guys later. videoing right now. Alrighty guys, in Drew's truck here, he uh, made this cut line for us. He's got a, he's gonna spend a couple more hours out here with us. And we we're just looking at what he did yesterday and yeah, to me it looks fucking awesome. What the hell do you call your business again? Ritter's Dirt Work. Ritter's Dirt Work. So, uh, if you guys need to get some bush pushed, get a hold of uh, Drew. I'll have his phone number in the description of the video again. And he'll come on over. Like, this is, uh, yeah, really liking what I'm seeing. Not that I know anything about it, but really liking what I'm seeing. <laughs> Uh, I do believe I showed you guys yesterday what he did way over there that's opened it right up that whole big area that's awesome lots of firewood out here if anybody wants some easy to get to now anyway we'll talk to you guys later well there he goes the big D6T kitty cat with that raker bucket on. He's done at our place. He's got to get going to the next yard. We were lucky to get him for the time that we had him. He's a busy, busy boy. There ain't too many guys in this country up here that, that do this kind of work. Anyways, I got to swap buckets out here. So, uh, I'm gonna move some more bales here with Little Blue. So I'll let you guys go. And here in the future, we'll go for a drive out in the pasture and I'll show you everything he did out there. Uh, all total acre wise, this fucking thing anyway all total acre wise we're thinking he did somewhere around basically 10 acres and that took basically 20 hours nineteen to twenty hours something like that now, I don't know if that's good or bad, but one machine, to me, you know, if we did another 20 hours or if we get 30 hours done next year, um, that's really going to open up the bush pasture and give us a lot more grazing acres. by far a lot more grazing acres we got her locked in locked in as far as I can tell she's locked in yep locked in beauty let's go move some bales with that, I'm going to let you guys go. 
You don't need to sit here and watch me move bales. You've seen me do it numerous times, so I'll let you go. We'll talk to y'all later. Have a good one. Subscribe. Share the videos. Leave a comment. Fun, fun, fun. Let's get her done.